guys, we are near Oslo in Norway, and me and Dave are going to go for a little row of this boat. It looks got, like you got something, Jakey. Yeah, these guys you got, got some something. little fish. You got some seaweed. Like, got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick, right Is that going to tip them? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this is going to be cool. See you later, boys. Well, you can probably see right up Bass's shorts from here. What's your all, man? Get your line. <laughs> Oh, no, we've got tangled up in the way. Get your fishing line out of there. Oi, bro, we are caught so bad. No, we'll be alright. So, look at those chump knees on the end of the... Louis, look how cool they look on the end of that pier. Try and get it. Try and pick it. Louis, try and pull it. What? So it comes out. Cheese. Say cheese. Hey. Oh, wow, you look awesome. So, guys, this is our Airbnb we're staying in right on the edge of this lake. Is this a lake or is this a sea? So they call it a fjord, oh. which I believe is lakey, but I can't be sure that it doesn't connect to the sea. This is amazing. It is, isn't it? This is so awesome. Oh, it gets so peaceful once that boat goes away. These guys wanted to swim across here, but I'm not a good swimmer, so I was just gonna follow them in the boat. Wow. Yeah, this guy only built the house. He's only lived in it two weeks, so we've got this brand new house. Oh, we found a purple starfish in here yesterday. Did yeah. you see that, Luke? No. I bet there's crazy sea monsters in there, though. Yeah. Lie down, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's so great that we don't have to be directional with the camera. Oh, yeah. Right. This is the perfect thing we could have done for Steve. Yeah. Can't believe he's finally getting married. Wow. Yes, man. Yeah. Wow, I never, look at I, that sun. yeah, I never get bored of sunsets. Some people do. I just love this jelly-like look. That's the weird thing about water, isn't it? Is that it's like half a solid and half not solid. It is all, it's like a membrane, isn't it? If you look at a glass of water, it kind of oh, yeah. can go over the top of the glass. When I go to space, I want to mess around with water because it looks crazy in space. When's that happening? I don't know. I need to chat to Elon Musk. I'll be like, hey, do, do you need some YouTubers up in space? <laughs> nah. I think once, <sighs> once we've got flying around the world done, yeah, then we can think about what's next. This is what I want, though, mate. This is what I want from like any land that we can try and get. Because we'll have it on a big bit of water like this. On water with trees, but mainly like off the grid, but not far from the grid, because we still need to travel and, you know meet other people but this is such a good place to create we can make all sorts of amazing things here yeah so southern england do any of you guys know anywhere within an hour's drive of like surrey or london that's like a big lake with forest that we could buy basically mm. let us know and we can make our own little ewok village there cabins, mm. be a nice little centre of creativity. Well, the thing is, people didn't understand when I first built my cabin, like, seemed weird in the back of my own garden. But it cost like 20 grand and it's been my home for five years. If you're like paying rent in London, yeah, you probably pay flipping, what do you pay, like a grand a month? Minimum, like 12 yeah. grand a year, so you, they would have paid twice that just to rent in London for five years. And I've got my the own cabin, so. Land seems crazy, but it's actually not crazy. <laughs> well, I watched this guy talk last year called Nassim Taleb, and he has this book called Anti-Fragile. And he basically says that the man-made worlds we live in are so uniformed and essentially boring mm. that it makes us go a bit crazy. Like all these white walls that are pure white. There's not much information from... <gasps> Look at that bird. Oi. Ah. Oh. Oh. What is he? 
Does anybody know what that bird is? I think it's just a seagull, bro. <laughs> oh, I like him. He's a cool seagull. Um, but because like rocks like this, if you look at this rock, it has like a purple layer, a yellow with a different texture, it has white, the light shining on it in so many different ways. Yeah. It's like, it's interesting data to our brain and that's how we're built. We're almost, we're built to enjoy complexity and our, work, well, our like cubicles in our offices basically make us go a bit crazy because there's not enough information to process, which is why I think we feel comfortable and good in nature. Well, they say variety is the spice of life, don't they? Exactly. So anything with very variance in it. Yeah. Jellyfish right there, right behind you. Look, 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 go, go, go. Oy. Hopefully we'll float it's past it and you guys jellyfish. can see it. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. Hey guys, look at this down there. Look at this down there. I can't see him now. Oh, there he is. Yes, bro. Awesome. Move that all down. Yeah. What's wow. Do you reckon they're poisonous? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, those tentacles coming off the bottom. Oh, Oi, guys, catch this jellyfish! Is he over there? Yeah, he's a big guy. Alright, mate. A jellyfish? Yeah! I'll jump in, bro, and just grab him with my hands. Yeah, I don't know about that, maybe. I love oh, I've got my steady, I've got my optical, I've got my steadiness off. There you go. Are you filming? Yeah, doing a little filming clip. Um. I can't believe these rocks have gone purple. Does anybody know what it is? Maybe it's those flowers above it. Maybe those flowers, those are plants above it. But isn't that, yeah, I don't know why is that purple. Because we saw a starfish yesterday that was bright purple. Never seen that in my life. Maybe it's like the lichen or something, or the uh, algae. It's probably the algae, bro. If you guys know what it is, definitely tell us, because I've never seen it in my life before. Where's the fish? Be amazing if they caught a mackerel right now. Did the guy say there was there's fish here? Yeah. I guess they're his rods, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, the sunset. Yeah. Should we go in? Yeah, let's go in. <laughs> 